in a minute, but right now, 8 o'clock in New York City, we start with the Fox News alert. ISIS has now claimed responsibility for the massacre of Christians and others on Easter Sunday. Speaking of religion, Sri Lankan officials say it was a retaliation for last month's New Zealand mosque shooting. Benjamin Hall joins us live from our London newsroom with the breaking developments. Benjamin. Yeah, hi, Steve Ainsley and Pete. Well, this news just breaking in the last couple of hours on ISIS's official website and their news agency, the AMAC Agency. But ever since the attack happened, it has been widely speculated on. Uh, this domestic group that has been blamed for it, National Tawith Jamath, was widely thought not to be able to have carried out such a coordinated, sophisticated attack such as this, leaving so many people dead. And that, together with the fact that uh, at least 40 people from Sri Lanka went to fight with ISIS in Iraq and Syria, well, the connection now appearing very likely indeed. The death toll has risen to 321, and it brings to mind one ISIS mantra, which is, we love death more than they love life. If indeed it was linked to ISIS, we would have expected the suicide bombers to have made videos before carrying out the attacks. Uh, and while we haven't seen those yet, we are seeing other new videos, including chilling surveillance reportedly of one of the seven suicide bombers walking calmly across a square in the capital of Sri Lanka, Colombo. He's wearing a heavy backpack. He enters St. Sebastian's church, walks right into the center of that Catholic church before then reportedly blowing himself up. Well, today in Sri Lanka, funerals began as the country observed a day of mourning. The country is now under a state of emergency, and the military is planning and operating under enhanced wartime powers. So far, police have arrested 40 people in connection to the bombing. And tragically now, learning about another of the Americans who died, uh, an 11-year-old student, a fifth grader from D.C., Kieran Shafford de Zoyza, who had been studying in Sri Lanka but was due to return to the U.S. in the fall. And we also had the name of another American who was killed, Adita Kowalski, 40 years old, from Denver. And now the FBI involved, sending agents of their own to help with this investigation. Back to you. Those, Thanks, those images are heartbreaking, yeah. Benjamin. Yeah, thank you. You know, and, and he just showed us the video of the guy walking into the Catholic Church, and he's got that great big backpack on your back, yeah, and you're thinking, right why would they let him in? There are a lot of backpacks in the world. Sure. You know, you can't stop everybody, but just to know that he walked through that open door, stood in the middle, and pulled the trigger is unbelievable. Mm. Look at all those openings. There are churches here in New York where you have to go through metal detectors first. Mm -hmm. They check every single bag. That guy is a coward because he killed innocent people that had no idea it was coming. But in his mind, he thinks he's a warrior, Hero. A, a jihadist. So. Uh, they, and they believe they're, they're part of a global Islamist movement to take on Christians and Jews in the West. Yeah. And so just because the caliphate is gone in Iraq and Syria physically doesn't mean that mindset is dead. They're still on the offensive. And it right. takes every government and every free-thinking person to be vigilant and to understand what it exactly well, and is. And they, they, apparently, you know, with ISIS taking responsibility through their media uh, wing, clearly they've had co coordination, and we talked about that mm -hmm. yesterday, Pete, but uh, for the government officials in Sri Lanka to say that it was in retaliation to the Christchurch New Zealand, uh, you know, the murders at the mosques, that adds a, no, a completely different dimension to it. It does, but it doesn't surprise me. It's a global jihadist movement. So if they feel like it's retribution for fellow Muslims that were killed there, mm -hmm. they'll take any blood they can where they are. That is the view so if they the have of this are attacked, war. Then these radical, these radical individuals because they will see it as a holy someone. war, they're going to then target on Christians or Jews. I mean, that's the lens through which they see it. We we can choose to understand that or ignore it. All right, um, so from what is happening in Sri Lanka to domestic